what we have here in front of us is Terraclips Buildings of Malifaux. And this is a quick review of this set of scenery for Darker Days Radio. So this is a, a once in a in a blue moon video review that we don't often do. So as you can see, it is some card scenery that clips together to create some very nice looking buildings. If we have a look on the back, it shows us how the system works. We need to get these separate clips, I clips, L clips, and T clips. And they connect to the card floors, walls, and ceilings. And also, as you can see, we can make ladders and steps. And you can see how they stack. And then a bit about the content. And there's two other sets. So this is Builders of Malifaux. You can also get Sewers of Malifaux and also Streets of Malifaux, which I hope to get in the future. And I will show you pictures of those. So that's what a lot of buildings of Malifaux and Streets of Malifaux put together. I think that's one set of each, maybe two sets of each, and that's Sewers of Malifaux. Typically speaking, one set of the streets or one set of the sewers covers somewhere in the region of a two foot by three foot area. So if we open up the box and what have we got? We've got these A3 sized sheets of card that have been die cut and they are printed on both sides. So there you go, floors, and you get stone floors on the back, you get wooden floors, you get walkways, and as you can see they're not they're not a glossy finish, they are more like a matte varnish that gives a nice tactile feel. Everything pops out nice and cleanly, there's no having to fiddle around with a craft knife or scissors. As you can see there's other things like the roofs, again, are double sided with different types. There's doors that pop out, there's also, as you can see, these little moon shaped pieces there with little notches in and that means you can make the doors that you pop out freestanding, which is really cool. Also the walls will make a note of that they are double sided so that they have an inside and outside image. So on the inside parts you know, you've know, you got images of like bookcases or curtains. Of course we've got railings to our walkways so that adds a bit of cover for our men who are running around shooting at people or potentially leaping off the top of to kill people. So if we put those back and close the lid, we can have a look at some of the buildings we've already made. But first, let's have a look closer up at some more of the card sections. So as you can see, that's how they pop out. That means you've got some pieces that have a wall and a doorway in there, some are just an entire wall section, and other parts are small wall or small doorway sections with doorways which are either single or double, or you've even got wall sections that are actually more like very big archways. The wall sections come in either 3 inch or 6 inch lengths, because our floor pieces come in 3 inch squares or 6 inch squares. What we have in front of us now are the Terraclips Combo Connector Pack. Um, so you get 40 of each type of clips in there. So that comes separately because really you only need one or two sets for your buildings and as you get more kits you know you're not going to use all the pieces in the set. Uh, to make your buildings or you may not be using one set one week and you know it's just easier to not be deluged with all these clips so this here is the first building I've made using the kit it's a two-story building with a rooftop section and it also has a small uh, outhouse part of it that shows that we have these three inch square areas and six inch square areas. The clips as you can see are these grey smoky plastic connectors which means they blend in better uh, with the, the scenery. In testing uh, WorldWorks games found that the clear plastic ones they originally started with kind of had a uh, an effect where it 
looked too shiny due to scattering kind of a fiber optic effect. As you can see in this building, we've put together also some steps, so you get the idea of what they look like. And the steps mean that you can slide a miniature in to stand upon them. And you can also see what I mean about the walls having interior and exterior features. So that's, again, that's the staircase being rotated round. And they're very sturdy though maybe with the staircases you may feel inclined to glue those ones together. Of course the advantage of all this is when you make it you can take it all apart and it flat packs. There we've got Common Striker from the War Machine games and to give you an idea of scale and the fact that he can actually stand on the steps, which is really cool. The question we'd be asking is how rugged the pieces are as we slide the wall sections and the into the connectors and back out. And I would say it's fairly simple and I've only had a case of a little damage in places as doing so. Obviously you get better at this and more careful. You'll also note that the connectors on the bottom sides of them have a small ridge which means that they sit on top of wall sections that are below them neatly and that means then an upper story stays in position of a on top of a lower story. So far we've actually used these buildings in our Iron Kingdoms roleplay game to represent a tavern and an outhouse and it's, I would say, added a lot to the game. It gives a better idea of where characters could be and also gives an idea, really more of an idea of what the scene is like. Here you can see again that we've taken out one of these doors that pop out and just give you an idea of kind of like the visuals you can get with this and we again can see Com Striker in the distance if we look through the doors so overall as a first set that I've picked up I am more than happy with it and I can see adding to it the Streets of Malfoy and possibly another set of the buildings Again, as you can see, that is a door section with one of those half moon pieces in place to make it freestanding. And here we're just showing you what the double doors look like. The other thing you may have noticed on the floor sections is that they have what's known as a hidden grid system. That means there is a very subtle one inch square grid system on all the floor sections, which is you know, neither here nor there really. Um, it shouldn't really affect pre-measuring because it's not that obvious and the fact that war machine figures and so forth uh, use bases that are just slightly bigger than a one inch diameter and again here we go for a steam jack and a troll for scale comparison I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to learn more you can tune in to Darker Days Radio by looking for us at darker-days.org.